Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this design you see on my screen from scratch in Canva. So if you're ready, let's dive straight into Canva. So before we get started, I just want you to know that this design we're about to create is very easy to make inside of Canva. And if you stick to the end of this video, I will show you exactly how I made the entire thing inside of Canva. So let's jump into Canva now. Okay, so you can see this is the whole design and everything is editable, you understand? So I will just come down here and the first thing we are going to do is to search for metal, okay, to metal texture. After you search for that, you can see there are so many options at all. So I can choose this or anyone at all you want to go in for, you can just choose that. So I will click on replace background, click on it, come to transparency and reduce the transparency you get it so you can see how the whole thing is looking so let me increase this a little bit so that the design is really in your face <laughs> yeah so the next thing we are going to do i think i should reduce it more yeah so okay on seven which i think is fine the next thing we are going to do is to search for golden badge okay so golden badge not bad badge okay so once you search for it there are so many options you will be finding so i will click on this one and i would come to flip not flip sorry come to edit image and choose bg remover so at this point we'll have to wait for canva to remove the background of your image and i would use this opportunity to tell you about canva pro so if you are looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing your background images publishing your canva designs directly from canva to any social media platforms when it comes to adding multiple brand kits inside of canva so that you can be able to work with multiple clients resizing your canva designs to any dimension at all with a click canva pro helps you to do that and also even when it comes to creating animations in canva canva pro gives you so so many animation options to choose from so yes i want you to be able to use this and that's why i have a link in the description box below that can help you to use canva pro for free so check it out and start using canva pro today the second thing i want to tell you is the animated instagram story template i have created for you this should help you you know cut down the time you use in designing instagram stories so that you can be able to create fantastic designs in less time which means you only have to choose the template and edit that's all you have to do there's a link i have in the description box below that should help you get this template today so yes this is what i wanted to share with you let's dive back into canva because i see um, the background image has been removed okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to increase the size so much and i would position this here okay so i would also cop this like this and you can see what we have come to transparency having your badge selected and reduce the transparency of it okay so you can see we have something like this okay so now it looks like we've sorted our background out so the next thing we are going to do is to add our subject image edit it a little bit and continue with the design so we will just come to photos in photos just search for cool guy seated wearing suit okay so once you search for that there are so many options you would find okay and um i will choose this one uh, over here because this one actually you know caught my eye so much because of how stylish is looking and very serious okay so i would come to edit image in edit image i'll choose bg remover and just allow canva to do its thing so after the background has been removed click on apply then come to flip and choose flip horizontal you know so that we can have a uh, subject you know looking at whatever we are going to place next to him all right so i will position him here and i'll also increase the size okay so you can see because i want him to fill our canvas okay at least he should take majority of the space that will help to make the design look catchy okay so after we do that we'll come to edit image still having him selected come to adjust and we are going to you know do some tweaks over here so the brightness i'll reduce it a little bit okay increase the contrast to separate the blacks from the whites then with the saturation to boost the colors i would increase it a little bit okay with the blur i would reduce it to make our image sharper like you can see and i think that's all we need to do over here so i will just push this here and you know crop all of this so this is how i want everything to look but you know according to what you're looking for you can just do different things okay so the next thing we have to do is to add our text so i will just press t on our keyboard okay and i will just say anything so like i said earlier i will use throwback okay and i'm using the terminal font so 
I'll increase the size, okay, and I'll duplicate, bring it here, and I'll say back, okay. Then I would you know, do the same over here. So we now have to make sure our text is aligned, and that's what I am trying to do over here. So I'll increase the size to so something like this, select all, and move it to the top. Then select the two and I will rotate it to 90 degrees. Okay. And I'll position it right here. Okay. Then I'll increase the size so that, you know, his head is matching with it. Or you can also reduce it a little bit. Okay. It doesn't really matter. All right. So after I do this, I would bring him to the front. Okay. And I'll select my text. Okay. And move it to the left a little bit so that we can have something like this. So to make our text look a bit interesting, I'll select this and I'll choose yellow. Okay, you can change the color to any color of your choice. And also, since we've made you know some changes or adding a new color, I want to create some sort of repetition in terms of color. So I would press R on my keyboard for rectangle. Okay, and I would adjust the size of the rectangle, position it here duplicate it and position this one also over here select the two and send it to the back then i come to color and change the color to yellow so you can see how the design is already looking it's really looking very interesting so i will select both text over here and the thing is because we'll be adding some extra text over here it means i would have to reduce my text okay and i'll lift it to the top a little bit and you know still increase it more but you just have to adjust it interestingly like what we have done so i'll push this one in a little bit okay so that we can make everything look compact all right all right so now that we have done this let's add some text over here and because i want to save your time i'll just come to the initial design and select everything i have over here okay then i'll just show you how i went about it okay so all you have to do is Add your text and with this you can see there's a shape behind so i just added the shape and place the text on top okay as easy as that and then um, one thing i would want to add here since this is the venue i would want to come to element and i will search for location which means location okay so i will select it okay and reduce the size okay position it here let me zoom in more so that you can be able to see exactly what i'm doing so select it reduce it and position it here then come to colors and change the color to black so you can see this is really really looking very interesting all right all right so now we've done most parts of the things we actually needed to do and um there's one thing i'd want us to add to make our design look interesting so what you will need to do is to visit elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for light okay so once you search for light you'd see an element i'm about to use in my design download it upload it in canva and follow the steps i'm about to show you so i'll come to my uploads and i'd only have to search for my element so this is the element i was referring to select it okay and what we are going to do next is to come to edit image in edit image we are just going to use the dual tone effect okay you can search over here for dual tone but um if not you just have to scroll down but i think searching it is the best way okay so select dual tone choose any of the options over here it should apply to the element okay then click on it again so come to highlight okay and in highlight we'll choose yellow all right then in shadows choose white okay so that we can have our design looking like this all right or you can flip it the other way around just to see how everything is going to look so choose yellow for this and choose white for this so you see okay let's stick to this one so with the highlight choose white and the shadows choose yellow click on apply and allow canva to save your design after your design is saved what we are going to do is to reduce you know this light a little bit and we are just going to position it at certain places so I can position here, increase a little bit and send it to the back. Okay. Or you can still leave it to the front, but I can send it to the back, duplicate it. Okay. And I'll position it somewhere here and also increase the size. Okay. So we have something like this. Okay. So now I just want you to know that with this particular um, step, you don't have to do too much of it else. Your design will start looking funny. Okay. So I can also maybe position one here 
it's optional and um, you should just be creative in where you want to position your element or your light okay so you can see we added some extra stuff over here so this is just some text you know you can just add reduce the size and you know rotate it okay then we added some uh you know script text over here so with this font i'm using the jimmy script you know so you just add it and um you know, position it nicely to make your design look good so yes this is what i wanted to teach you how to create in canva and i hope you were able to follow the steps throughout just in case you also want the original template there's a link i have in the description box below you know that should help you get the template for this um design we just created and one more thing if you are looking at having more canva tutorials there are three things i want you to do the first one is to hit on the subscribe button the bell icon is the next thing and also check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video